Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Calculus uh, 2012 exam. So let's look at question number five here. The rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight. When the bird is first weighed, uh, its weight is 20 grams. If B of T is the weight in grams, then this is the relationship. Let Y equals B of T be a solution to the differential equation with the initial condition B of zero equals 20. Is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams or when it weighs 70 grams? Explain your reasoning. Well, gaining weight is the rate of change. So I want to know what dB dt is at 40 is equal to 1 fifth 100 minus 40. That's 60 over 5, that's 12. And then dB dt at 70 is 1 fifth 100 minus 70, which is 30 which is 6. And so uh, at it, when it weighs 40 grams is when it's gaining weight faster because the derivative 12 is bigger than 6, right? So the derivative at 40, is, which is the rate at which it's gaining weight, uh, is greater than uh, at 70. Okay, so find the second derivative in terms of b and use the second derivative to explain why the graph of b cannot resemble the following graph. Okay, the second derivative of b I just do the derivative of this side. Let's see. Um, I can leave without the one fifth, and the derivative of this is just negative dB dt, right? Because the derivative of 100 is zero, and derivative of negative b is negative dB dt. But I want to turn to in terms of b. This is one fifth. Negative dB dt is just negative this, so it's negative one fifth, 100 minus b. So this is um, negative 1 over 25 times 100 minus b. OK. So what do we say here? Um, the, for b, uh, let's see, his weight is, starts at 20, and then he gains weight. But it should kind of slow down. So his weight should increase more rapidly at first. Well, let's see. This, oh, okay, so in terms of second derivatives, second derivative, what does it tell you? It tells you concavity. This is always less than zero, right? Because 100 minus b, is the weight is under 100, like all, all the time. So it's always less than zero, but you, so which means it should be concave down the whole way, especially at the beginning. But you see, this is concave up right here. It's like a bowl up. So because it's concave up there, that's that's the explanation used. It's a, it's really that uh, the second derivative is negative, which is concave down. So it should look more like this the whole way. Okay. Use separation of variables to f variables to find b of t, the particular solution to the differential equation. Okay. So to solve this differential equation, we do separation of variables. I'll bring the dt up. So I'll get. I'll just write this. Repeat it down here. Db dt equals one fifth. One hundred minus b. I bring everything with b to this side, so db over 100 minus b. And I bring the dt to the other side, it will 1 fifth dt. Then I integrate. I'll continue the integral over here, just because, oh, actually, I can, I can scroll down. That's fine. Um, this, if I did a u substitution, you would find like u down here. Um, I would just get ne negative natural log absolute value of 100 minus b equals one fifth t plus c okay but um 100 minus b is always positive in our interval so i can get rid of the absolute value signs and multiply through by negative so natural log of 100 minus b is equal to e to the one fifth t plus c which we write as e to the one fifth t e to the c and instead of e to the c i just leave it as c so it's c e to the one fifth t you could have solved for C at this point, but it's really not useful. It's better to solve it for C down here. Okay. Um, oh, uh, I forgot I was doing E to the both sides. That's why I did that. So this is equal to 100 minus B. Then B is equal to 100 minus C E to the 1 -fifth T. So to solve for the constant, I need to use the initial condition. B of 0 equals 20. When I plug in 0, this is 1. So this becomes 100 minus c times 1. And so c then equals 80. 
So my overall solution is b equals 100 minus 80 e to the 1 -fifth t. Okay, and that's that. So let's look at the next question, solutions. 12 and 6, gaining weight faster when it was 40 grams because the derivative is bigger, that's what we said. Um, therefore, the graph of B is concave down. A portion of the graph is concave up, so that's the explanation. And 100 minus 80 e to the minus t over 5, that's the same as 150. So, all right, we nailed that one. So, um, I'll see you in the next video where we finish out this AP exam. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.